Uh, I want to recognize uh, Keith Riel, who is the treasurer of the Workforce Development Board. Keith is back here. You may recognize him also as a councillor of the City of Peterborough. Um, and uh, the Workforce Development staff, uh, wave your hands just so that we, uh, Chi is over here, Bev is over here, Anne was here, but has Anne left? She's left, okay. Uh, the Workforce Development Board uh, has a responsibility for labor market planning across uh, Halliburton, Quartha Lakes, Peterborough, and Northumberland. We issue a labor market plan every year. Uh, it will be coming out. The 2012 version is, uh, came back on my desk, approved from the ministry today. So uh, uh, we now just have to get it translated and uh, a few other things like that. But it'll be out in April sometime. Uh, and it'll be on our website, wdb.ca. So make sure you go and have a look at that. There's lots of really interesting information about the labor market and uh, some of the challenges that we are facing. Uh, Two research projects we did last uh, this last fiscal year, uh, one on the creative economy across our area and where are those jobs located. I think uh, when, when Richard Forrest first started talking about creative economy, some of us thought, well, that's that, those people out there. But the creative economy is, is really woven through all of the, all of the jobs that we have, uh, all of the industries that we have. Uh, so uh, that report is also on our website uh, and uh, you should have a look at it, it's very interesting. And the other one we had done was growth sectors across our area uh, and it's on the website as well. Those two um, uh, reports, uh, we, we put a summary together and uh, we've been going out to schools, Chi has been, uh, been going out to schools, uh, meeting with kids uh, in grade 10 to share with them uh, where the jobs will be when they get through school, we think. Uh, and uh, also uh, been working with Trent University and Fleming College around what are the educational pathways to get to those jobs. So when you're in grade 10, you got to make some decisions and those decisions are far better off to be the right decisions if you have some idea of where you want to start in the workplace. So uh, that's, that's some of the work we do. We do a lot of work with uh, students uh, from an educational point of view, helping them to understand where the jobs are uh, and, uh, and the educational pathways. We do it in healthcare, we do it in uh, a number of, uh, of areas. So um, those are very successful programs. Uh, this uh, this coming year, we're uh, uh, already started on uh, in partnership with GPADC and the uh, uh, the Martin Prosperity Institute or the Rotten Center in Toronto, uh, a study of um, the workforce in the Peterborough area. Uh, we we haven't found anybody yet who really has a good picture of what it looks like. Uh, we know we've got a pretty high unemployment rate, we have no idea really what that looks like. And so those are some of the questions we're hoping to get answered. Uh, this study is a year-long study, it's already started, and uh, over the period of, of that year, um, we, we really uh, are hoping that, uh, that we can see not only what our workforce looks like, but how does it compare to other communities our size across Ontario, across Canada, and in some of the states that we, uh, we have just uh, across the border. So that's going to be some pretty exciting stuff that uh, hopefully in a year from now we'll be able to have a look at and, uh, and see what's going on. The other um, uh, major project that we're working on, we've been working on this for about four years now and uh, finally we're, uh, we're at a stage that we're this close to funding uh, and that's, um, we call it the Virtual Institute Business East, but it's a research uh, and information centre. So we will be uh, doing some research uh, through that, but more importantly We'll be providing a lot of um, analysis of um, labor market information. I mean, there's tons of labor market information out there, but I don't know if you've ever gone to a Stats Canada website and tried to sort of gather this and gather that and put it all together, and it's like, well, if you know how to do, utilize 2020, the, the, the piece of software that they want you to use, then, uh, and I've been trained on it three times now, and I still don't know how to use it. So, uh, but, but what we're trying to do is, is look at what, is, what does a community really need? What, what does an organization like this need to help the unemployed people to get back to work? Uh, and so we, we are going to try to find out through this study with the Martin Institute and GPADC where are some gaps and what are the educational gaps we need to try to fill. Uh, but beyond that, we need, we need to be able to, on a consistent basis, provide that information to uh, Employment Ontario centres like this. But more importantly even than that is to employers so that employers can, can see some of the trends and some of the activity that's going on based on, on these, uh, these numbers and make some, some decisions that will you know, be good for their companies as well. Um, I think that uh, there's, there's always lots of gloom and doom, but uh, uh, I think Stuart and I were just talking earlier and, and, uh, and one of the things for sure is entrepreneurship is, is really alive and well. 
uh, in our area, and, and so we do a Bears Lair entrepreneurial competition. The well, first one was last, uh, last year, and I said I'd never do it again, and here we are doing it again. It's a lot of work, it costs a lot of money, uh, but, uh, but I think it's really valuable. The young lady who won last year, uh, some of you may have been at it, Robert Herjavec was the keynote speaker and one of the judges, uh, and Joanne Baguero from Port Hope uh, uh, produces high-end doggy treats and uh, her company is doing extremely well. I mean, every new company goes through some pretty tough times. She's been through some tough times. She's, she's on the, the high road now and she's doing extremely well. Um, and we have a, a good array of folks uh, uh, who have applied the competition uh, for applicants closed uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and we have someplace, Justin. Justin is one of our candidates uh, in the Peterborough area. So uh, uh, one of the things we're doing this year that we didn't do last year was we're bringing the Ontario Centers of Excellence uh, out of Ottawa in, and they're going to run a boot camp for everybody who applied, and in that boot camp, uh, they're going to come out of there with their elevator speech in terms of uh, why should you buy my product and here's why in the first two minutes I'm talking to you. Um, and, uh, and that will really help them in the presentation at the regional competition and then if they make it to the grand finale. The regional, competitions in, the regional competition in Peterborough is, is March the 26th, it's at Fleming College, uh, and the grand finale is May the 12th at Showplace uh, downtown Peterborough. So um, uh, I'm really encouraged that the, the uh, uh, Certified General Accountants uh, and the Martin Institute did a major, uh, they've just released a major paper on uh, entrepreneurship and innovation and so on and uh, uh, one of the projects we're going to be take, undertaking again next year is a, a take off on that and looking at some of the ways we can increase the number of entrepreneurs that we, uh, that we have in our area because that's really the, the backbone of the economy is, is entrepreneurs and, uh, and those people who work their butts off day in and day, in, day out and often on the weekends to, uh, to make companies thrive. So uh, we're really pleased to be uh, one of the sponsors here tonight and uh, I uh, hope you enjoy yourselves and thank you, Stuart, for uh, uh, including us in your uh, after hours.